another roundabout session. Mm -hmm. Would you like to go through the things that we talked about okay. before? Mm -hmm. So, look, this is what we did. <laughs> Too much. Like a massacre. <laughs> Okay, too much, at uh, least I, I learned to how to count today. Yes, that's... Uh, <laughs> that's an improvement. That's very good. My God, so, I don't know how to count. As I said before, when you are approaching the roundabout and someone gives you a direction, maybe go through quickly, mm. like mm. one, two, three. Okay, left hand side where the red house is or where the whatever, you know. So this gives you a direction. And then when you are in the roundabout, in between, quickly look at the exit. Okay. Use the side uh, window, mm. if possible, and glance uh, in the direction of the exit. Mm -hmm. So, in that way, you are not losing the focus. Your, the, the focus. The, like we we are using reference point points when we are parking. Mm -hmm. It's the same idea. Okay. Quickly glance in that direction, and you are not losing. Uh, your direction. Okay. Slow down the speed early enough uh -huh. when you are approaching and then start scanning the traffic from the left. Okay. Um, I think my main difficulty would be like if, if there's an oncoming car because then I have to check the speed, the, the indicator, the, the tire, mm. the, yeah, so it takes, yeah, I think it takes some practice and some, yeah. Yes, yes. And now, with this, all this knowledge that we collected from the last session, now we are jumping in again and try to bring everything together, together all these puzzle pieces. Huh? So, checking for the indicator, speed, mm -hmm. uh, head position maybe mm -hmm. of the driver, and wheel position. Okay. Speed and wheel position is the most important part yeah. of it. Yeah. And also maybe keep in mind, um, keep the speed nice and slow in the roundabout, mm -hmm. because uh, I think we had it once today, when when it's we left so the roundabout there was a pedestrian. Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah, keep yeah. it nice and slow when you're turning, indicator, blind spot check, look for pedestrians if no one is there keep on going and speed up again. Okay. Huh? okay. Any last questions before we move off? No. It's okay. I just need to digest everything. Everything together. Yeah. All the pieces are there and now we are start building yeah. the, the whole picture. Because sometimes, yeah, it takes practice and the actual, you know, doing it for me for it to sink in. Yeah. 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 That's why I think it's good to uh, practice it, discuss it, have a little break, go through mentally, then go mm. back to the road again. I'm, I'm interested to hear at the end of the session what you're thinking about driving in the roundabouts. Okay. Maybe you feel much better after the second session than because like I live at the I'm on the fifth floor and from my one of the windows in my living room I can see directly down around about mm -hmm. in Rubigan mm -hmm. and they make it seem so easy like so smooth yeah. so fluid like okay if there's a car and then of course the giveaway sign is there and they know okay this car stops if someone is already on the left side and then lets it pause it's just um a simple roundabout, mm -hmm. but yeah, but everyone observes properly the rules and yeah, and they just the typical they just signal when they exit yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's yes. it, it's like it's so nice in looking from above. Yes. But yeah. And what you what you can do is looking down and uh, imagine you will drive like this in the future as well. This is a good example. Maybe if I have some muscle memory, all those. <laughs> <laughs> how long do you need to build those years and years? 
No, I don't think so. I, it, Maybe if you drive every day. A few hours of practice and then it gets easier and easier. You know, everything that you learn is very hard from the beginning mm -hmm. or at the beginning, but then it gets easier and easier because you are, have more and more experience and you bring the, the pieces better and better together. Yeah, because my sister was telling me nothing beats practice. Never mind, you just you just need to hold the steering wheel. wheel that's it. But because not too I, tight, please. Yeah. Relax in between. <laughs> yeah, I, I, today I was like so tight, my stomach is like I can't feel it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 Then move off. Let's move off. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Okay, first roundabout. Okay. Take the first exit to the right place. How was the decision-making process with this car, car who was oncoming? I had to factor in the, yeah. Mm. And I can see that his speed, I can still do my thing. Mm. Because he's still quite far. Okay. Yeah, so. No, he's gone. Better for us, huh? Is the temperature okay in the car? Yep. Okay. At the next roundabout, please take the third exit to the left. So, I, we take I, the fourth exit now. Yeah, no, I, the light. Yes, you was focusing on the, on the indicator and not <laughs> on I the road. I think the beam is the, <laughs> no, I think I, I. So we turned around now, no worries about that. We will find another roundabout. <laughs> Next roundabout ahead, mm -hmm. take the first exit to the right, please. Okay, how was that? Good. Good. Speed was good. Um, indicator early enough, mirror checks. What about blind spot? Missed. Missed. When you are turning right, make sure that you are covering Everything. the blind spot as well. There is the next roundabout ahead. Okay. Take the second exit, please. Straight ahead. Indicated a bit too early. Now it's better, yes. Okay. Make sure that you stay in between the white and yellow line here. Sorry, this is a boss lane. Okay, so here.
and relax again. Look far down the road, hold your speed. Let the lines are leading you. Look far down the road. There's another another roundabout ahead. Take the first exit to the right, please. Slow down. There's another roundabout ahead. Okay. Take the fourth exit. It's a U-turn. Come back. Quickly go through. One, two, three, four. Okay. Are you ready? What about the blind spot check? It's okay, it's okay. I constantly give you feedback on that. Yeah. I need to work Just to ra raise your awareness a bit. And turn off the indicator, please. Yes. At the roundabout, take the second exit to the left. This roundabout has no first exit to the right. Okay. First one is on the other side. There's a cyclist. Okay, no hand signal. Okay, so this is the second? This is the first. Okay. Second is there. Turn your head, find your exit, follow the bus. Blind spot check. Yes, wonderful. And look far down the road. Use your side window. Can I? This is a bus lane or what? No. No. All right. This is a bike lane. Okay. Yes. And the bike lane here will turn into a bus lane. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, the tunnel again. Another roundabout ahead. Again, take the first exit. First exit in this case is straight ahead. Okay. okay. Yeah. Blind spot check again. Always make sure that there is no bike next to you when you are leaving the roundabout. At the next roundabout, take the third exit to the left. Where is your exit? When you are approaching a roundabout and you are checking the left hand side, why not turning your head all the way into that, that, into, uh, that direction? Okay. You are glancing with your eyes just looking around, but you're, it, it seems like your head is always in a straight position. Mm -hmm. You know? I think you can see it more better and clearly if you 
you turn like, ah, oh, no one is there. Okay. Huh? And maybe not only once, maybe two or three times. At the roundabout, take the third exit to the left. Good. Where is your exit? This is the second. Yes. Wow. This was very good. Now you got it. The pen all has piece, dropped. All pieces were together now. Congrats. <laughs> Come on, Esteban. Yes. <laughs> Speed was nice, the checks while approaching, indicator, position, blind spot check, everything was there. Next round about the head. Okay. Fourth exit, turn around. This is the fourth, right? Yeah. Oops. Oops, I, it was fast. This was a bit fast at that. Because I stepped Beginning on the accelerator. Was very good. Yes. Accelerator. You pushed the wrong pedal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, but it should be okay. At the next roundabout, take the first exit to the right. How does that feel? Better. Good, huh? Also, I like the way how you control the speed now, uh, because down the hill it's a bit harder sometimes, right? Yeah. So here with this car you can use the, the one pedal driving. Mm -hmm. We are in B mode, so the car is slowing down much more than normal. Mm -hmm. But then, early enough switch to the brake pedal and control the speed. This is very good. I assume that you are practicing. Yeah. Because normally you wouldn't check blind spots here. Yeah. But okay, it's fine. Do you have enough energy to do two or three more? It's okay. At the next roundabout, take the first exit to the right, please. Maybe you could check the left hand side a bit earlier mm -hmm. when you are approaching the roundabout. Have a first glance early enough, then maybe a second one when you are halfway there, and then right before you are entering, maybe the third check. Okay. Something like that. It depends on the situation. Sometimes you can see quite far, sometimes you don't have uh, that much uh, overview. Take the second exit again, please. Okay, the indicator was a bit too early. Okay. That's why he turned off 
by itself again. So you need to wait until you are halfway you, through. The first, yeah. Yes. A honker, we have a honker in the back. First time to He went to a course, now he is able to use the horn. I don't even know the horn here. Where is the Ho horn? Horn, where? where the Honda logo is. Okay. Yes. Next roundabout, first exit again. Okay, to the right. Right, yes. Slow down. Did you saw that they had their uh, indicators on? Yeah. The guys from the left hand side, three or four cars, they had the indicator on. So, what do you think? Can you go? Is it safe to go when they are indicating? If they are indicating to turn in my direction? Or yes. You mean? yes. No. I should no. have waited. Oh, nice! Wow! He was breaking the law. Maybe he will give back his driver li driver's license. Why is there a camera here? I don't know. Again, take the second exit. The first one is that straight. one who is going straight. The second one is that one who is going left. Where that... Uh, this one is the first. Yes. This one is the second. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Because there is no exit here. Where is your exit? This is the first. Yes. And this is the second. Yes. Okay. Do you know what I mean when I'm telling you where is your exit? Yeah, to look at my yes. exit. Yes. But I'm not looking half the time. I'm still counting. You can count. That's that's a very good way. But it's taking me to And at the same time you have to also glance at your exit to understand where it goes. And also you can work with these reference points that we talked about before. Maybe there is something special, you know, when you're approaching, okay, there is a, a green car parked. Okay. This is my exit. Or this building or this company. Anything like that. Okie dokie. Here we are. Okay. Cool. Done it. Smile a moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, how was it? I turned off the car. Is that okay? A bit scary at times because. I think I missed some of the important things like checking the left side when entering the, the roundabout. Why do you think is that? Maybe I was so focused on um, like what in, what's in front plus counting where I, yeah. I'm exiting. So yeah, so that needs more practice definitely. And what else? Yeah, also, since I have to apply what we've discussed about, you know, like checking the indicators of the oncoming. Yes. Yeah. So I had to, like, first check the speed and check their indicators, then had to check whether the wheel is coming in towards my direction. Yeah. So that also, and if there is a succession of cars, like three cars in a row, then I have to do that for, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Until I, I, I am certain that they're not turning in my direction, and it's safe for me to to go. So, before we talked about um, when a car is coming from the other side, because this is the hardest part uh, to understand 
if they are coming in mm -hmm. your direction or leaving the roundabout. And now, from this perspective, when we are, when the cars are coming from the left-hand side, you have other things that we can use. The speed again, mm -hmm. yes, but then the indicator is uh, a very important thing to uh, understand where the car goes. So we are assuming when there is no indicator, that they are 100% coming in our direction. Mm -hmm. You know, even maybe he, he didn't indicate, okay, can be, and le is leaving like this, can be, but we need to uh, assume they are coming here. Okay. As soon as they start indicating, we talked about that today, first exit, you can indicate early, right? So they want to give us the signal, I will turn right, you can go. Mm -hmm. All these cars that we had today, or in that row that you are talking about, they indicated early to give you the option or the opportunity to, to, go. to go. So now we need to now we learned, okay, indicator, they will leave, first exit, we can go. But now you need to also build up the trust, mm -hmm. you know. It's also a trust thing. Otherwise, you could say, you could argue, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe this indicator is wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can be. Some people are not turning off the indicator. We have to be especially careful with uh, motorbikes mm -hmm. because motorbikes, they have a, a, a blinker switch mm -hmm. who is not turning off automatically. So if they forget to turn it off, then yes, it just yes. stays there. So they are traveling down the road with 50 and they constantly indicate. But we as a driver, we can understand there is something wrong. He is uh, at a high speed, how can he turn? It's, mm -hmm. it's not possible mm -hmm. that he can turn. So we are aware of that. Okay. But with these cars that we had there, they slowed down quite a bit because they have to do that, that right turn. The indicator was specifically for you turned on early so that you have the chance to understand what they want to do. Their behavior was very good, mm -hmm. you know. And um, maybe another thing that we should work on is um, when you move off, you can move off slowly or you could move off fast. a bit faster, you know. So there is my chance. And now instead of going very slow and be scared, you could go a bit quicker. Okay. You know, use your gap in the traffic, go a bit quicker, but only for a second or two. Mm -hmm. And then you are in the roundabout and you can go in that direction where, where you want to go. So, um, I think yeah? I need to work on, if you, if you give the instructions like, okay, turn on the third exit, uh, to the right then the moment even before I enter first I need to check the left hand side of course yeah then I need to start counting fast and looking at where I'm supposed to do the exit and yes. yeah and yeah you're right but the problem is that everything that you are doing at the moment or almost everything needs to be processed yeah. through the brain. And if you are trying to uh, go the same speed as the other cars in traffic, where everyone around you is doing everything automatically, mm -hmm. it's, they have uh, the habits, muscle memory. Muscle yeah. memory. Just it, yeah. they, just, they, they can talk on the mm -hmm. phone and do it. No problems, but you need to, ah, oh, which exit? Ah, oh, blind spot, mirror check, ah, oh, indicator, 
you know, all the things together. So the only thing that you have to solve that problem is you have only one thing that you can change, one variable that helps you to the have more time. The speed. Yes. Yeah, I think, no, I think I need more practice because for them to to glue together, yeah, because it's like when we did all the turning, I couldn't get it right, you know, the first few times. So, because it hasn't really sunk in. You know, yes. Yeah, so it needs to sink in. Yes. Yeah, so. I think it sinks in better when you can do it slowly mm -hmm. and slowly. properly in a good in a good way that's that's very important so um, especially when you are approaching the roundabout you mm -hmm. can take a bit more time you know because safety first you need to check the traffic you need to think about in which direction do you want to go which exit mm -hmm. things like that and this gives gives you uh, more time to all to process all these things. Okay, but okay. it was a very good session. I liked it. Thank you, but huh? I, I still need to practice more. We had a few me. a few times very nice turns yeah. in the roundabouts, and it was especially in that situations where you slow down. Yeah. quite a lot or maybe the traffic was like that you had to slow down because of the traffic and every, everything was put well together at the end well bottom line I need to be slow in order to be fast yeah yeah okay very good then see you next time okay okay thank you thank you